There is an urgency to protect coastal places. And we need to do this in a way that has a long-term impact. These places are really important for economic and social, cultural activities. And we are losing these valuable resources. And shorebirds have suffered. Every year, millions of shorebirds migrate from their breeding grounds in the United States and Canada south to their wintering grounds in Latin America along the Pacific coast. And they need to stop at hundreds of priority sites that provide them shelter and food to survive their whole uh, life cycle. In the last 50 years, we have lost 32% of whole shorebirds in North America. If we want to save these birds, we really need to protect all of the important sites all along the flyway in all of these countries. The only way to successfully do this is to engage partners and conservation leaders at each of these sites along these countries and finding ways to balance the conservation goals with the needs of coastal communities in Latin America and involving diverse sectors, disciplines, and stakeholders. The program is not only about the conservation of birds and their habitats, but it's also about the needs of people and communities. We are cultivating early career leaders that can really find solutions for the coastal challenges. Ten years ago, when there was a huge earthquake, more than half of the wetland dried completely. That changed the livelihood activities of the people, and they abandoned the wetland. What we really want to do is to set a nature sanctuary in the place and have this nature sanctuary co-managed by the communities. We're going to rebuild this relationship as a way to reconnect the local community to this ecosystem. My project is located in the city of Valdivia, in, the, in Chile, which is where I live, and is facing many threats like development, uh, drainage, and filling of wetlands. When you have development activities upstream the rivers, that can cause problems in terms of water quality, is key for the wetland functions. What I'm trying to do is implement a set of basic strategies that are nature-based solutions. Plants have this intrinsic ability to absorb pollutants, you know, and you can use that function to filter water and release it to this wetland system. My project is about shrimp and salt farms. We found that they are important places for shorebirds. Some of them are not Helping, for example, they put plastic liner on the ponds. That makes that the shorebirds can access to the ground to feed. If my project is successful, what I would like to have as a result is a pilot farm that will show others that it is possible to have conservation and biodiversity living in their farms. One of the key elements of the program is capacity building. So we're training the fellows to become effective conservation practitioners and leaders. So the, the program provides training on aspects such as uh, coastal governance, strategic planning, communication, and how to be really good collaborators with other sectors and disciplines. Uh, we are designers, planners, we're also ornithologists, scientists, hydrologists. Uh, even anthropologists. So I would say the convergence of all these disciplines is key to success because you're able to incorporate all the values, you know, all the different perspectives. That's why I found the Coastal Solution Program exactly what I was looking for, actually. And because Manuela is an anthropologist, I think uh, she's more sensitive on how can this be achieved. With the Coastal Solution Fellows, my expectations are to grow 
académicamente, pero también de forma personal. Encontrar eh, relaciones con otras personas a lo largo del, del continente, poder intercambiar experiencias, también conocimientos, poder colaborar en el desarrollo de los proyectos y, alcanzar, y apoyarlos a alcanzar el éxito que requiere cada uno. You have this network of people working with you, not just at the local level, because you have your mentor, your cross-sectoral uh, collaborators, you know, you have your host institution, but you, all, you also have your fellows, uh, friends or <laughs> colleagues. And I think I'm not doing this thing by myself. We understand that these are bold ideas, but we also know that these are attainable goals. The fellows, they have real connections. They have connections with the community and they have connections to these ecosystems. People are starting to pay attention and they can do a much better job at protecting these sites than anybody else could do. Lo que es esencial para llegar a una sostenibilidad es entender estos sistemas, eh, entender su parte social, un componente social y su componente ecológico y poder lograr este balance o equilibrio entre los dos sistemas. We can't just be thinking of protecting, you know, pristine areas. We can do conservation in our backyards. We can do conservation in our farm. Uh, and we can do conservation in the wetland that is facing my house. You, you scale that up throughout a country or throughout the world. You can definitely put up a mosaic, you know, of small places that are being conserved. This is strategic conservation. Entonces creo yo que, que este proceso me está sirviendo mucho porque voy a aprender cosas que están fuera de mi conocimiento, ¿no? de mi zona de confort, se podría, podría decir. It makes me sometimes sad that I hear friends and people and young biologists not finding the opportunity to do something for our country to do something for biodiversity in Guatemala. Being here and being part of the Coastal Solutions Fellow Program is just the best way to show everyone that it is possible.